The Cliffs of Moher, Ireland's leading tourist attraction, taking the breath away of millions of people each year for their raw and unique beauty. The weather was due to be good for my visit, so I was so excited to finally see them in the sun, but I was not prepared for exactly what happened. Not many people get to say in life that they have the Cliffs of Moher <laughs> to themselves. I woke up for sunrise, well, <laughs> just just about and I got to the car park and there wasn't a soul not a car there the fact that I'm the only one here is like just it's like a cloud nine one million people visit here every year and I'm currently the only one a little bit emotional because I've only been to Cliffs Moher twice as an Irish person I feel like that's a bit of a crime. I've seen one person who walked that way. Hello. So the sunrise was at 7 40. It's now nine o'clock. There's still no one here. The purpose of this video was to actually show you what the Cliffs of Moher is like without any crowds in an alternative location. I didn't plan for this, but safe to say I'm going to be staying here a lot longer. It's a Saturday. It is February, but it's a Saturday. Like, <laughs> You can see all the birds sitting on the side of the cliff. So there are actually many ways that you can see the Cliffs of Moher. The main way is here at the visitor center, how I entered today. Or you can walk from Doolin, which is part of this path that I'm on currently. Or there's a special route that I'm gonna show you later on and you can also see them by boat so i'm going to link the boat tour in the description of this video and i'm going to show you probably my favorite way to see them a little later can you see all the water blowing back up <laughs> it looks so cool so i've actually came back to the van because i might have not snoozed my alarm this morning but i didn't eat and i'm starving so i'm having a little bit of brekkie and i can see people starting to arrive now and i'm like get away from my private cliffs <laughs> um no but seriously like that was such a surreal probably a highlight of traveling ireland because like i never thought i would see the cliffs of moher like that i love the cliffs of moher but I don't love how busy they are. Like, I think there's definitely cooler places that you can go that don't have nearly as many people. But this is, this is pretty damn cool. Like, to see them in this perspective, in this way. Um, I'm going to go back out. I want to walk along the, like, ridge. Um, I could be shooting myself on the foot because when I came in this morning, the barrier was open in the car park, so I didn't actually have to pay. And I don't know if they're going to stop me when I go into like the visitor center area and ask me for a ticket. I don't actually, I can't remember how that works. So, I mean, I'll just pay if they do, but um, it'd be kind of nice if I didn't have to pay. It's actually surprisingly mild out for February. Um, I slept in the van last night. I was like, okay, until maybe about four or five in the morning. And then I was like, uh, it's cold, <laughs> but I survived. Um, Cause I was waking up for sunrise. I didn't mind so much. Um, Just for context, it's half 10 and this is what the car park's like. So, but I did see loads of tour buses pull up. So I reckon that it's getting quite busy now. And probably because it's February, I imagine this summer it's not like this at 10.30, 100% not. I, I just, I'm actually really, really surprised. So if you're here in the winter months, you actually might get away with very little crowds until like 12 o'clock, I'd say. <laughs> you can see all the people walking. They look like little ants from here. <laughs> uh, that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up there. And along. 
the difference even an hour can make. Like there's already so many people here. Let's walk over towards this side of the cliffs and see what this is like in a few minutes. So you can see O'Brien's Tower over here and literally look how many people, I'm going to show a close up of it, how many people are there and there was not a soul this morning so it's really cool, I love this perspective of the cliffs though, the way the sun is hitting them at the moment. And right over there is Inishore which is the smallest of the three Iron Islands, it's such a clear day, like it's not often that you can see it that clearly, it's so beautiful. So I'm looking over at Hag's Head where I'm going to be taking you later on and that is the place to go if you're looking to visit the Cliffs of Moher without crowds but you can't wake up at sunrise or you can't get here at that time because far less people visit it and it's so far away from the visitor centre that it's definitely worth checking out. If it was summer I'd walk all the way out there but we've limited daylight hours so I think we're going to drive but first I'm going to keep walking along this beautiful part of the trail because it's incredible. Okay, let's learn from Laura's mistakes a little bit. So this morning I went up to O'Brien's tower when it was sunrise, but in hindsight, I actually think you'd almost be better coming this way and looking at O'Brien's tower as the sun is hitting the cliffs because that'd be pretty spectacular. I don't regret my decision, but the next time I'm here, I'm 100% gonna be doing that. And I think you should consider it when, you know, when you, you decide to come at sunrise, because why wouldn't you now after seeing this video? Like. Also, this is the landscape on the other side of the cliffs, may I add, so beautiful all around. I have just walked a little bit beyond where like, they basically have loads of like slats that you have to stay within. And then when you come to this area of the cliffs, that doesn't really exist anymore. So at this point, I started to make my way back towards the visitor center and just look at the views that I got to enjoy along the way. Of course, I stopped multiple times for pictures. Who wouldn't when you had this to look at? And safe to say, the crowds started to arrive. It's kind of good to know that you have like a two or three hour window before you have to share the Cliffs of Mower with thousands of other visitors. So at that stage, I was thankful to be back on the road to my next destination, which is the gorgeous Hag's Head. Um, I actually got talking to the lady who runs the car park. It's actually just in the garden of their house. So if you're looking to support someone local, it's a good way to do it. It's five euro to park your car but the visitor center is seven euro per person. No matter if it's one car, two cars, it's per person. So this is a lot more budget friendly way to see the cliffs if you're traveling in a group. The views, even just walking up to it, are so pretty. This is incredible. Like it's just so raw to sit and have this in the background and not have the busyness of the visitor center in your ear. And I like that it's it's not touristic, you know, like it's, it's completely open, you can see everything, just sit, watch the waves and just kind of have a moment to yourself and not like feel like you're in a rush. It's, I kind of lost her words. Like I actually, I forgot how much I loved it here until I got up and it's, <laughs> it's, 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 I don't know what to say. I actually realized in the hype of this morning when I was running around like a child, so excited, I actually never gave you any context into the Cliffs of Mower. I just kind of showed you beautiful views. So they're 214 meters high. The highest point is O'Brien's Tower. They're actually not the highest cliffs in Ireland, which a lot of people don't know about. The highest are Crohan on Ackle Island and the second highest is Sleeve League in County Donegal. 
and they are three times the size of the cliffs of Moher. Yet these are the famous ones. And this section of the cliffs is actually subject to Irish myth and legend, like most tourist attractions on the island. And the story is told that Cú Cullen, an Irish warrior, was being chased by a witch or a hag. And this is where she chased him to, and she actually died and fell to her death from the bottom of the cliffs. And it says that one section of the cliff looks like a side profile of a witch, and that's why this area is Hag's Edge. Fun fact, I also do have a blog post on all the information that you need for the Cliffs of Moher, whether you want to walk them, where you want to walk from, how to see them for free, how to see them from the visitor center, if you want to go on a boat tour. So I will link them in the description down below so that you can have a read and give yourself a little bit more context than just the pretty views that I'm showing you today. Also, just to show you how empty it does be here compared to the visitor center, so if you want to see Cliffs of Moher without the crowds and a more raw version, this is the spot. So, the plan for this video was to originally show you loads of underrated places to visit in Clare, not just go to the Cliffs of Moher, but I actually ended up having such a nice time just exploring and admiring the beauty that, that yeah, I spent longer than I had planned. But I do have two more places up my sleeve that I want to show you. This one, it's really beautiful. Let's get out of the car. So this is actually Doolin's Pier, which is a stunning town. I actually spent last night here, but I didn't film anything. But if you're going to get some over, you'll definitely stop in Doolin. Great place to go out and like drink and have a nice meal. So just to put today into perspective, this is the cliff walk to Doolin. Behind that is the visitor center. And then this over here is Hag's Head. So now you just have like a whole perspective of the cliffs from a completely different place. Pretty cool. The waves are so big. Also, this is crazy. It looks like all these rocks were brought in from the ocean. This is a car park. <laughs> Madness. Okay. On to the final stop of the day. It's a good one. And welcome to the Burn. Our final stop of today is the Burn Coastal Route. Burn translates to the rocky place from the Irish language and it's easy to see why because of its unique formation of limestone rocks. Come check out this view. I was hoping that we'd get a sunset, but unfortunately, the Irish weather really took a turn today because it was beautiful in the morning and now it's like hazy, but it's still nice. So that brings us to the end of this video. I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who has been so patient with me. I know it's been a while since we've had an upload. So as always, thank you so much for watching and give it a big thumbs up and comment and I will see you in the next one. Bye.